gardening friends. Hi, it's Mary from Rocky Mountain Gardens and I am here today because I have started putting up my fall decor on my front porch and Labor Day is going to be over. September is upon us and the smell of autumn is in the air. Now I was checking um, the uh, farmer's almanac actually and they said that the average frost date in Colorado is September 29th. Now we know that it could happen earlier or it even could wait until October. We just never know for sure. But in my gardening, I am going to start in the next week or two getting ready for winter in my garden. So I'll be putting up another video a little bit later showing some of the steps that I do with plants over the winter and how I handle that. But today I'm going to be focusing on decorating for the uh, fall season and I'd like to share that with you, what I'm going to do with my front porch. So I'll be back in just a minute and give you a little tour of my front porch with my new fall decor. See you just shortly. So I'm back and we'll have a quick look at my front porch autumn decorations. So we're going to walk on over. To the porch where we have a small little vignette here which includes some scarecrows and a jack-o-lantern and I have this buffalo check plate which is actually a charger and I got that one I believe at Michael's uh, with a 40% off coupon and my scarecrows, which I really like, they're quite cute. Uh, I did buy those about two years ago, probably at Hobby Lobby. And then I did get this uh, reddish colored garland of leaves just recently. And I believe that was a Hobby Lobby purchase and these larger pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns, these are really from several years ago. Now here you can see my wreath that I made in a separate video. You can see that. And I added a little harvest tag to the bow on that wreath since I made my video. And I especially wanted to share with you this cool uh, fall, hello fall sign that I got at Hobby Lobby um, when their decor went 40% off. And, well, I'll show you something about that in just a little bit. Hi, I wanted to add something about my fall decor in this part of my video. As you can see, this hello fall sign in the corner of my porch. Now I'm going to take it, oops, and I still have the tag on it. It was $29.99. Um, but I'll stand back because I wanted to show you how cute the back side is. It says, Boo to You. And it is my custom. I decorate generally for. Um, just a generic fall design throughout the season. But about the week before Halloween, I do uh, put up a few Halloween specific uh, decorations on my porch for all the trick-or-treaters. So I can literally just turn this sign around. It's a two-in-one sign. Move it to the Halloween uh, sign. And let me show you, I actually have uh, this pumpkin here that I showed. And if I turn it around, it's a jack-o'-lantern, a large one that's really cute on my porch for Halloween night. 
I also like to take and put some orange lights, like a string of orange lights around my door, around the sides, the top of my door. And let's see if I can show you. I actually have some little white cup hooks around my door that I can just quickly string those lights on and show um, and have my porch lit up for Halloween night for all the trick-or-treaters. So it's easy to switch a little bit of decor to make it more appropriate for Halloween. And then as we get closer uh, to Thanksgiving after Halloween's over, I'm gonna come back up here close to my sign again and turn it around. And we're back to the Hello Fall sign. And I also have a couple of turkeys that I put out here as we get closer to Thanksgiving. So it's quite easy to make some quick little changes over the course of the fall season for uh, getting ready for Halloween week and then later for um, our Thanksgiving time. So there you are. Uh, that's what I actually do here for the specific times during our fall season. Um, but here on the other side of my door, I have another vignette uh, with a lantern and a welcome friends sign. Let's see if you can see that in there. It's hiding a little bit with the leaf garland. And I have a flower arrangement with mostly sunflowers here um, in one of those cute little pumpkins that you can use uh, sort of as a vase. And then here I have a lantern and I have to say my um, Luminara candle hasn't turned on quite yet, but there it is. It's looking very nice. And you might recall, in fact, I think I'll put a little photo in this uh, scene here for you to see uh, what I had in this urn earlier during the summer was an angel wing begonia that was quite beautiful. Uh, and I have removed that. I put in uh, fresh uh, potting soil into that pot so that it will be ready to plant in next spring. Um, but in there I placed these sticks that I have had for quite a while. I just use them in various arrangements over the course of the year. And I have some large white sunflowers and then some smaller orange flowers. And I have used, I'll give you a little bit of a close up, some of my winter greenery for the base for this, um, for this arrangement. So I'll stand back here a little bit and you can get the a fuller effect of that area. And then over here by my chairs on my little table, I simply put a little fall bear in a small arrangement with leaves and some floral items in this galvanized pitcher. And I have a little harvest sign down here hanging on the knob of that little drawer. And so there you have it. That is my fall decor. I'll turn around and give you a view from this side of my porch. I'm really liking this whole arrangement this year. It's very fun and it's actually getting me ready and getting in the spirit for the holidays to come. And 
for the sad time. We have to say goodbye to summer and welcome in our holidays. So there you are. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my porch. And soon I'll be coming back with another video, as I said earlier, which I will go through some of the preparations I make for the winter time in my garden. So until then, see you again. So long.